here's beautiful mid 18th century, early to mid 18th century book. Look at this binding. It is very, very pleasing. Look at this spine. So <laughs> well done. Tiny little chip at the head, which is uh, insignificant, uh, given the attractiveness of the binding. It's also very interesting. Someone here, a binder or, or somebody, has long ago affixed this supplemental leather gilt strip over this compartment for some unknown reason to cover something probably, but I, I, I simply don't know what. Uh, and when we open it, we'll see the uh, beautiful marbled end papers. This, there are two book plates. This one here is the Count Victon du Hummel, uh, pasted over a second book plate, which is very difficult to make out, uh, but might be worth soaking this one off to see what's there. This is, take a look, a handwritten book from start to finish. There's not a single bit of printed type in this book. It's all handmade, the binding, the end papers, as well as the paper, as well as the penmanship, all of it handmade. Um, we see here this is a historical work that starts with Pope Innocent VI in 1352, uh, the Pope uh, of Avignon. Uh, Jean was the king of France, and Charles IV was the emperor. Uh, and so this goes on historically up until the late 15th century. Um, different popes with different rulers and kings are delineated with their historical rules and key events that occurred. In the margins are the dates as the years progress. We see uh, each year that goes by, there's 1409 there, as we, there's 1467 here. When we get to the rear of the book, we get all the way up to, there's 1487 there, 1489, uh, 1491, and I believe that's followed right, right after that by the handwritten index here. That goes A, B, C, like so. And like there's Innocent the Sixth, Innocent the Seventh is on page 259, Innocent the Eighth is on 635, like so. And then the index goes like this to the very end. Yes. And this is a one-of-a-kind, unique book. It's available now online from me, Brian DeMambro.